Just gonna box this crap back up and send it where it came from. Alright, so it's all boxed up and uh, yeah, ready to send it back to Amazon. Got uh, something else here. Let's see what we got. Alright, got some uh, bubble wrap. <laughs> motorbike cell phone holder um i hope it's not the one with the little pink things it's not supposed to be oh no give it a that so let's uh let's check this out so this is a um motorbike holder for a smartphone thought it'd be kind of cool for the scooter uh that way maybe you know the phone could be mounted onto the scooter i don't know so let's see uh what's in here We'll be uh, installing this along with this box right here. Again, made in China. Uh, made in China, just like everything is. Oh, actually, wow. That's actually pretty... That's pretty stout. Nice, it doesn't have the little pink bits. Sweet. Yeah, I think... Oh, this is going to be... <laughs> this is actually going to be mint. Look at that. Wow, that thing is stiff. Okay, so this will be cool. That is actually for, whoa, holy smokes, what's that, for a tablet? Let's, uh, let's get a measuring device on here and see how big of a phone this thing can hold. So it looks like, I want to say, you got to subtract like, uh, I don't know, maybe like a quarter inch from this measurement. So we're measuring at 8, so diagonal to diagonal, I guess you could hold a uh, phone that's like 7 and 3 quarters, diagonal by diagonal. And my Galaxy Note 8, which is what this is, you know, recording on, is actually only diagonal measurement with its case of 7 and a quarter inches. So that's going to work out absolutely perfect. Now... We'll put that aside for now. Thing's massive. So, on this bike, right? So on this bike, you can see that from the crash, one of the mirrors got blown out, and I, I actually already threw it away. But uh, the glass was actually blown out of it, and it was rusty. And you know, this one's showing signs of deterioration itself. But um, yeah, so what I did is I went ahead and bought that. Now this should serve as the replacement. What the heck was that? Comes with a free bag of nothing. <laughs> Did you see that? It's a free bag of nothing. Oh my gosh. Ah, look at that. That's pretty wild. So, it wasn't a free bag of nothing. <laughs> it's actually the bolts. So it comes with adapter bolts just in case. Um, so it's got the uh, 10 millimeter bolts right here with the adapter. And then I think these are like eight millimeter bolts or something like that. Oh, yeah. Wow. What? Why does it come with? Why is there five? I don't know. So these are the mirrors that I went ahead and went with. A little bit different than the design of the mirror that is on there but um, yeah I actually I actually thought that this mirror was uh, pretty cool so let's uh, let's see what's gonna fit where so this is the uh, left side mirror and we'll compare it which we'll just go like that and that's the size difference of the mirror. So this one's a little bit nicer to design. I think actually goes more with, I guess you want to say, the design of the bike, just this shape. So, yeah, here you go. Hey, what's up? <laughs> All right, so let's, uh, let's just get this off. Again, like with most things, very easy. You just want to pull up on that little shield right there. This is a lock nut. And we're going to grab something to loosen that.
really very easy. It's just a 14 mil. I'm just going to loosen that little locking nut up. And then you can go after the handle. Um, then you can go after the mirror itself. Rusty. So that would actually be kind of cool because now it's going to extend the mirrors a little bit more. So make sure that this fits onto there. Which, yep. Perfect. No issue. That's going to be nice because it's going to extend the mirror actually. And what would be kind of cool is because we're putting a cell phone holder mount on this. So the smaller bolt is actually going to be going into the actual handlebar or uh, control uh, lever base. So one's actually a reverse thread. That's interesting. So I'm going to tighten this down, right? 14 mil. So I'm actually, I'm not sure what side I want the cell phone to actually be on. I'm guessing I'm going to want the cell phone to be on the non-throttle side. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to put it on that left side. That way your hand can still stay on the throttle and then use your um, your left hand to go ahead and just, you know, tap the touch screen. I have to actually mount the holder. All right. So what I'll do is we'll undo that. Instead of having it stepped up like I was thinking, we'll just undo this. Attach the phone holder apparently the way it should be, which is flat up against this base. And I guess that makes more sense because it will, it will possibly provide a more solid mount. Yeah, that's better. Just gonna run it in. Burn it out. Get the little cell phone thing on the jigger. Put that on there. Yeah, I think that'll work. I had initially rolled the controls a little bit further down because it's you try to do it for, I guess, a certain amount of comfort and. For me, I'm used to with a control that's more rolled down, but the only problem with that is, is installing this bracket onto there. You end up with um, a conflict between this plastic and obviously this plastic right here. So I just rolled it up just a little bit more. Now what we're going to do is we're just going to tighten that up. I think I'm liking the position that it's in right now. All this stuff can be changed, you know, if we have to later. Now in this mirror, okay, the way it's the way it's designed, all right. So what I did is I looked at the back and I realized that the print was actually upside down. So what I did is I just spun the actual uh, rod so that it has a more, I guess, visual um, look to it. You know what I mean? Put a little bit of lube on the threads. Go ahead and screw this in. All right. So it's got a little boot, right? All right, I guess filming in the sun, my phone doesn't like because it's, anyways, um, back to installing the mirrors on that. I had to put the phone in the freezer just to cool it down and that works every time, so. So we've got the mirror pretty much installed. Uh, we did push in that little, um, I don't know, cap, cover, something. We got another one right here that's gonna go down and over that. But what we need to do is we need to position, obviously, you know, that handlebar how we want it to be uh, along with the cell phone mount. So let's uh, just figure all this good stuff out. So see, that's what's nice about having this OEM Tools uh, rolling cart is that you can basically roll everything that you've got to a different location. So now you can see we're working in the shade. That should work out a lot nicer. All right, so all we have to do now is we have to orientate this and then lock our screw down. So, probably liking that right there. All of this stuff we can just adjust later. Let's just go ahead and tighten that down. Take the little sleeve, push that over for now. That's fine. Move up that little 
heat mill. And this is the side that was destroyed. Just screw that right in. So remember, this stuff is all aluminum, so no need for Arnold Schwarzenegger strength. Take our new mirror, lube up the threads on this. And there we have it. Mirrors, left and right side. Phone holder, adjusted pretty well. We'll adjust these as we go over time. But um, yeah, that's not too bad looking, right? I mean, it's just a scooter. You gotta have your safety in place, right? So yeah, I think these will work pretty good. Let's um, mount that phone in the holder. So I just took it for a cruise and I'm actually pretty surprised. And one thing that, because I never use Google Maps on my phone, which it's not like if you're you know on a scooter you're not going to know where you're going, but it is kind of cool because you can get your Google Maps up and running. And another unique feature of Google Maps is it literally has the speedometer right on the lower left hand side of when it's in portrait mode anyway. Um, of how fast you're going and that's using GPS so it looks like the mileage was right on um, max speed on a level surface so far was 32 miles per hour and uh, yeah that worked out actually pretty good so there you go there's the new scooter mirrors installed I'll leave a link to the description for both the mirrors and the phone holder I'm actually pretty surprised about that phone holder. Do you get a little bit of, you know, movement? And what I mean about movement is obviously because, you know, you're on, you know, an arm and things are made of plastic and whatnot and it's an extended reach. Um, and the phone itself being so massive, there is a little bit of, you know, shake that you get. I like the way it actually holds this phone because this is a Note 8. And the thing is massive, especially with the protective case that I have on there. It's got a nice foam kind of like little backing. You can see the lightning bolt from the back side of my uh, phone is imprinted into that little foam pad right there. The way it connects on fine is absolutely fine for what it is. These mirrors are absolutely fine for what they are. Another upgrade that I want to do on here, which I've got to figure out, and I'm not sure if it's actually going to work. I think I can get it to work is a, uh, a USB quick charge plug so I can actually charge my devices when my wife and I are on the go on this, on this little bad boy right here. Again, this is just a quick little episode from What's Up Guy Garage and uh, just throwing some upgrades on the scooter and just having some fun. See that right there? That's the whole point of life. Have a smile, be happy, and uh, yeah. Thanks for watching this episode of What's Up Guy Garage. Oh yeah, subscribe. Why wouldn't ya? I think this is the little guy who's not very afraid of it. See him right there? Well, maybe that is the one to see it. It just literally feels so wrong. So it's all backed up. All right, so it's all backed.